Hey guys. Hi. Surprise! We're doing a Wednesday night signal boost. Yeah, we did. So I just sneak it in. Are since you we... surprised? Are you surprised? Have you been? <laughs> have you been? Am I tricking you? It's what us. Was, what was the quote that you said? Are you? Have you been tricked? Have you been tricked? You don't remember. I don't remember. It's a reference from the earlier signal boost. Oh yes. no. <laughs> um, well, hey, it's us. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna introduce ourselves, myself, in this program. I'm letting my kids see me. I'm Jesse Sprocket. I am the communications director here at The Generator. And I'm Alicia Dynamic, and I am the youth education director here. And this is Signal Boost, which is our weekly uh, like arts and culture stream. Where we yes, surprise. Surprise, where we just talk about um, different arts and culture stuff, man, mm -hmm. happening in Reno, mm -hmm. the town that we love the most. Yes. And Sparks, in Northern Nevada, really. Northern Nevada, yeah. the region. Happy. The region that has stolen our hearts. Yay. Yay. So. Uh, yeah, so last Saturday we tried to do this stream mm -hmm. on my laptop at my house, which actually in retrospect, I watched I watched it, and it was really not that bad. I think oh, okay. it, was, it was the fear of the It was worse on new. our side, maybe, because yes. it was, yeah. I think we had some internet, like, proximity issues um, that maybe could have been, we just, you know. It was a lot. And it we, was a, it was a try, and there was things going on with the holiday. And the holiday, yeah. We were like gonna do the live stream from my from my little party, and on the laptop, and it was just a lot going on and uh, some kinks that needed to be worked out. But we yeah. were like, no. Oh, we were like, no. Hand? That's what Cassie no. says. We were like, we couldn't no. handle. it. The, we felt like the internet was like, no. That's true. So we decided to just kind of no. cut it off, and now we're gonna do that. Ooh, too much, Cass. So now we're going to do, do it this, now. Do it now because Wednesday. we're also going to be gone this weekend. So we wanted to make sure we got this in. And um, yeah, because you so know, we, we are. We did the interviews and we want to make sure those artists feel honored and that everybody gets a chance to see it. So yeah. we're like, we'll just do it on a Wednesday. Plus, it's the summer. There's so much going on. So we know we're going to have more content mm -hmm. before we're back. So we're just like, let's get it going. Let's just do it. Um, and also, it's a great opportunity for us to shout out that tomorrow is our last Art on Top here at Bell Street. And it's special. It's Art Town on Top. And we're going to be doing it from 4 to 9, so it's even longer because mm -hmm. it's going to be the opening. Oh, of the art installation that my kids did. at. Um, we did the first ever Generator Summer Camp for kids. We had nine uh, students uh, ranging from ages so awesome. 7 to 13. So it was a pretty broad age range um, for kids that age, but it worked out super well. Um, it was a really great pilot of the program so we're hoping um, um, the plans are now to build out a really robust and um, hopefully innovative and exciting uh, summer camp program for next year so definitely if you've got little ones that you um, of your own or one or that you love and are local um, keep an eye out because you know keep it in the back in your back pocket next summer there's going to be a lot of good uh, generator activities and we will be in Audi by then so we'll have lots and lots of space so there's a lot of potential and a lot of excitement yeah and and tomorrow is going to be such a good art on tap yes yeah. so if you want to come early like at the four o'clock five o'clock time that's when we're going to do the unveiling of mm -hmm. the kids art installation and so if you're just thinking about yeah, like 5 30 what's when this I have. like Do, would my kid be into it what you know it's yeah. a good time to come and check it out meet some other kids mm -hmm. um bring your definitely bring your kids because it's very kid friendly we're going to do um, an activity for kids and also speaking of kid friendly I'm gonna do it's kind of a lot all in one day I know but we um, decided to just go with it because we have limited time here in this location so I'm piloting a new program here which is called the uh, maker family meetup so it's gonna be a two-hour drop-in kind of organized uh, event that'll happen weekly um, until we're until the end of the month here because then we're out of this location mm -hmm. then we're hoping to pick it back up as soon as possible in Audi and it's basically going to be just like a time when families can come and make art together it's going to have hands-on activities so it's going to be kind of like curated and themed and it um, yeah it's for it's for kids of all ages um, it's kind of going to be more geared towards littler kids, but particularly if you have like siblings that maybe one Bam. is a little old, yeah, up. bring them. Um, it's going to be really fun, and we're we're just going to try that out and see how it goes. See if that's something people are interested in. A lot of what I'm doing right now with the education program is just 
seeing what people, what do you want? What do you want? What do you, what do you, like? you want to do? So if you have something that you think would be cool, you've got an idea and you want to email me about it, you can always email education at the And, um, you know, hit us up if you've got thoughts, because we just really want to create programming and events that serve you guys, the community, and your kids. So yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah, absolutely. Otherwise, what's the point, man? Yeah. <laughs> we're and the other thing, so if we now, uh-oh, is it really quiet? Whoa, Ooh, we were having some it. issues Whoa, with it. our microphone, to be honest with you, when we started. So let me see if I can turn Make it, it off. louder. I think, yeah, I think you just do volume here. Yeah, I just turned it all the way up, oh, I thought. It's okay. Is this helping? How about now, Jim? Is that? Oh, that looks like it's getting more gain. Yes. How's that? Maybe that's a little better. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for Thanks, that. Jim. The feedback is super helpful. We, we recently were lent a microphone. Um, Shout out, Alex. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thanks, Alex. And we're still kind of Testing learning it. to use it correctly. Like, Hello. <laughs> yeah, maybe we need to be just closer to it. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So come if you want to. Thank yeah, you. You can spend all day. Nice. Thanks, Reed. Hi, Reed. Oh, my goodness. That's someone that I know from when I was a kid. Aw. That's very cute. Hi, Reed. How awesome of you to tune in. <laughs> all the way from I, Pennsylvania. Where's, where's my childhood friend? <laughs> JK, JK, it's cool, Reed. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, so if you want, you can spend the whole day basically tomorrow at the Jenny, like 2 to 9 p.m. We just Hi, got Claire. stuff going on. Hey, Claire. <laughs> Um, so come on down. What? Let's talk about what else is new with us. We got a lot of stuff to cover, and Noah's creeping in the corner because we got to talk about Noah too. Hey Noah. <laughs> he's down there. He's down there. He's We're down gonna there. bring him in in a minute. Um, a real quick, what's new with you that I am excited about that um, is going to develop further is that I spent two hours today at the um, our at the our place, Cassidy campus, which is part of. Rise, which is the Reno Initiative for Shelter and Equality, because the generator is going to now be rolling out. We're creating this new program where we're going to be doing arts, STEAM education for the kids who are currently in that program, which is a shelter for families that are individuals and families that are experiencing homelessness, but they do have a large um, shelter uh, system that is for families. And so we're going to be bringing some arts education to those kids and something I'm really excited about. I think it's going to be a really neat program. It's a really cool facility. Uh, they're doing some really innovative stuff in that area. Very compassionate and, um, you know, it's a, re it's a really nice uh, it's it's a lot it's a lot more uh, what would I say like innovative and compassionate yes than a lot of what the solutions for this problem that um, that a lot of cities including our own a lot of the the unfortunately a lot of the measures that the city's been taking lately are pretty inhumane and not not really. Um, treating people with the respect and the dignity they deserve, but RISE is really working to combat that. So they're a really amazing organization. Definitely check them out. Support them if that's something that you're capable of doing right now. So they're awesome. And Mary's amazing. If you're upset it's about Mary. like the sweeps that have been happening in Reno and the CARES facility, which is like <laughs> yeah, not so. a good situation, um, this is a real, an organization that is like the counter to that. Yeah. So check them out if it's something that you're passionate about maybe kick them some bucks because they're doing really good work yeah for sure they're amazing um okay what's new with me is we officially sent out our thing that we are going to be closed for august as we transition into audi yep um here's audi right down there we put some of our stuff in it so it's official you know it's like that thing where you're like we're here now so <laughs> um wow look at all our stuff look at our stuff is in there no one can tell us to leave <laughs> Um, I mean, they can. Yeah, they, they still can. Uh, but we, Please don't. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to be in Bell after July. So we're going to just be moving all of our things over to the Audi. And we're trying our best to get all of the electrical done and all of the like drywall up and all the different things we need for the fire marshal to give us our occupancy permits. There's a lot of hoops to jump through. There's a lot of hoops. So bear with us. We're really hoping we're open by September. And as soon as we can be open, we will open. So just hold on to your hats, folks. We're hold on to your hats. Happen. Oh, no. I'm trying hold to on, adjust the microphone so it's closer to us. But it's... Uh, 
don't know how well it's working. Oh, yeah. She's just messing with the mic. It's getting real chaotic over here. Sorry, guys. Also, there's so many people in the space right now. Can I yeah, just take a second Yeah, the space is show really you? pop in it's right now, in. which is great. It but always feels good leave. to see lots of people in the generator. I'm so. going to show you really fast. I hope this is not too. No, it's good. You can do it. We've got people doing zines. Sam is at her desk. We've got some folks over here Adrian, getting set who's up. Gonna put up some art tomorrow and then Shannon who's working on the Bobby Augustine glass. Hillary's back there yep. making some wedding outfits. Yeah there's all kinds of Disco's stuff. fixing the vending machine. Look at those lights in there. Look how well lit that vending machine is now. It looks beautiful. beautiful. Come buy things from local artists. And then Noah's creeping down here. I think there's even <laughs> more people. Poor Noah. He's like if you gave me a chair I wouldn't have to be. I know we gotta get you a chair boy. Sorry right. I didn't mean to call you boy that sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then like well, I just gotta show you how cute my family is really fast oh, really? Uh, here they are that's all I mean look they're cute okay <laughs> live from the generator yeah, it's, you know, it's Wednesday fun. night it's Wednesday. this is what's happening okay uh, okay so yes moving into Audi so it's another big move so unfortunately we do have to have our okay leave beat it we do have to have some downtime um, because of that, but it's for an exciting reason because it's going to be so awesome when we get into this location. It's really, it's really exciting. So we hope you're excited too and you're looking forward to this next phase of the generator. So, because we sure are. Yes. So, what should we go to first? I think we should. Noah's waiting. So, let's, yeah, let's just talk. Have, Noah. Let me get a chair. I'm going to transition to full now, the, slightly in there. Yeah, come on over, Noah. I'll move over to this one. Chair thieves. So yeah, Noah's in the midst of putting in an installation here in the, the generator. Really so yeah, now you're now who's the creeper? Ah. It's you. Um, so yeah. Oh, the party is tomorrow. The party is there, well. Art on Tap is tomorrow, and four to nine. Four to nine. It's a long one. It starts early because we're trying to focus some more on the kids tomorrow. And like I said, the Maker Family Meetup, which I'm starting, is also two to four. So you could come here and be here like for many hours if you want. So you could catch that and then stay for some art on tap. And yeah. So tell us about yourself, Noah. Oh my goodness. You know. Well, okay, let me intro this. So Noah's sure. gonna do a full installation tomorrow and it's Noah's first installation in Reno. Yep. And he moved here with his husband, yeah. right husband, yep. from Canada. Yeah. Oh, what? International art. Right. Cool. Don't tell anybody I'm originally from Michigan. Oh, but which is almost enough. Canada. It's, really, it's basically it's it's practically Canada. Yeah. yeah. So, um, did you meet your husband in Michigan? or? Yeah, he moved there for work. But he's Canadian. He's Canadian. So you've got yeah. that sweet, sweet Canadian Ugh. citizenship now? Oh, we're, like, it's really close. Like, we're working on the process, and I'm waiting to, to mail me back. So, they're like, we'll call you. And I'm like, okay. They're like, don't call yeah, us. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I'm doing that same thing with the Lithuanian thing, and they're oh, like, yes. it'll be about six months. And I'm yeah. like, okay, I'll be here. Yep. Immigration vibes. Yeah, immigration yep. vibes. Good thing we don't have anything better to do. <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, Claire was asking about the grand opening moving party. We'll let you we don't know, know yet, Claire. We will definitely let you know, know, and we expect you to be there. I think maybe Halloween. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Just like to answer the questions. Yeah, Let yeah. So this is your first big show in Reno, and you've been here for several days, like mapping it out and getting it ready, and you just picked up your prints. Yes. Do you want to tell people the general gist of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. The generator is at this temporary location here at Bell Street. Yep. And we're moving to this new building on Audi. And I don't know if you guys knew, but there's this incredible park like right across the street mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. the new location. And big overview of, of what's going on with the art installation is that it's just, I, I just want to point people in our little local art community to the fact that there's this incredible natural resource across the street from where mm -hmm. we're moving. Nice. That's really cool. I actually did. I knew that I had heard there was a park nearby, but it's I massive. don't know anything about it. It's, it's really big. Wow. And there's a community garden in it. Yeah, dude. And a community center. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Already yeah. it's working. Yeah. You just pointed <laughs> you me to it. Informed. Informed. <laughs> Consider me pointed. <laughs> it's cool because that park is like right up against the drive-in movie theater. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Shelly says we're still quiet. 
Sorry, Can we Shelly. Turn this up? Oh, Piney. Hey. Testing, testing. Did That's you get Piney. rid of all those strawberries? Can I do that? <laughs> yeah, I can make it super loud. I just don't want it to clip, but it's fine. It's Noah's, all right. Noah's soft spoken, I feel. Um, yeah. We're all kind of soft spoken. Hello. <laughs> it's this. Hello. So, okay, so you're, you're directing people with your art towards the park. What is it? How, it in what way? Um, hmm, let's see. I mean, it's kind of just a big, like, hey, this exists. It's a thing. I have broad interests. I see, like, the park is already incredible, but I also see a lot of potential for it. And mm -hmm. I don't want to be, like, too prescriptive. I don't want to tell people, like, hey, you should go, like, pull trash out of the park on your free time or, or anything like but that. You should. Though. I mean, though. Well, maybe we I can mean, go as the generator. Right. I mean, like, I, yeah. I see all kinds of potential if people are down for that once we move over there. Cool. That kind of thing. Um, one of the central things going on with the installation is that um, there are plants that are supposed to be found in the sort of Reno area, and a lot of them aren't found in the city of Reno anymore because it's a city and we pave things over and right. you know, we're humans and we do all that stuff. Um, and so I found a vendor, she calls herself Vital Bee Buds. And cool. Oh, her, yeah. her name is Lorraine, she's great. Lorraine. And she... Oh, wait, is she at the farmer's market? She's at the farmer's yeah, market. I yeah, I bought plants from Lorraine. Oh, yeah, I know who she is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so she's holding on to plants for me, and I get to go pick them up tomorrow right before the event. Cool. From the farmer's market? From yes. the farmer's market, yeah. Nice. Man, I want a new plant. You could have a real nice night tomorrow. You go to the farmer's market, come over here, get some live music. It's really close. Yeah. Just Actually, um... You could ride with the, what's the feminist bike collective? The Radical Riders? Yeah. And they're doing a bike ride from somewhere to the um, the farmer's market and then to here. Yeah. So you could do a bike ride tour with them and make it like super extra nice. Yep. So yeah. it's radical. Yes. Yeah. And bring all the plants. Yes. Plants. I'm so excited. Like. What kinds of plants? Could you so, name just a couple? There are, in fact, just a couple of plants. Nice. So there's a penstemon, which is like a nice, pretty, decorative flower type plant that's supposed to be found around here. Uh -huh. And then there are also globe mallow. Oh, yeah. Are like, yeah. I have some. Okay, cool. Nice. In my yard, yeah. That's Nate. They just like do, they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. They're natives. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, they're good for pollinators. I've heard, I've heard, yeah. Actually, that's a thing. If you come and check out the installation, you'll see some of the specific pollinators that Globe Mallow are good for. Oh, there's, nice. There's some of that stuff you can check out. And so you're not going to want to miss it. Yeah. You should, you should totally come check it out. I'm super excited. Cause and, su and support this new artist who moved here, became a member, and is now having a show. It's so cool. And that could be you. It could also be you. You don't even have to be a member. You could just have a show. Yeah. Yep. We're open. Yeah. That's one of the things I love about spaces like this and specifically this space like some galleries not all galleries but some galleries will like gatekeep you yeah if you're trying to trying to do that like if you like there's a gallery in town here they're super fancy they're called the struggle and if i tried to walk right. in there and be like hey i'd like to show with you guys they'll be like oh no we're sorry yeah um, yeah we they only probably show, call you not yeah you call them. like they only show mid-career artists and that's their prerogative but here i was just like yeah i have a really cool idea for an installation and jesse was like do you, want, do, it. do you want to show it? And I'm like, yeah, I want to show it. Yeah, we definitely want to show your art. Heck yeah. I mean, I love the fact that, like, Ruby Joe had her first show here, you know, like five years ago, and now she's the city artist of Reno. Dude. Like, that could be you. That could That's be any of us, wild. right? Yeah. You just got to gain confidence showing your work and gain a body of work, and then yeah. done. Done, so. Just make some You don't even need to be over. confident. You just need to do it. Yeah. 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 You can Don't wait until you're confident. Just do it before <laughs> that because otherwise you're going to be waiting a really long time. Like, I, no, we're not confident. We're not confident. <laughs> we're just still here. We're a mess. <laughs> we are a mess. Yay. Yeah, Micah. Good to see you've made it. Awesome. Micah well, that's great.
Nice. We're uh, really, really looking forward to it, and hopefully a lot of people will come out and see it. Yeah. It's going to be a nice time. And we'll take some footage, and uh, maybe Alicia can air it on the next mm -hmm. Signal Boost in case uh, you can't come because maybe, like Claire, you're in mm -hmm. Portland melting. Or Reed, you're in Pennsylvania. Yeah. If he's still tuning in. Oh, man. Um, Humidity. Oh my goodness! I want to go to Michigan. I've heard really great things. It's it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of family in Michigan. Yeah. Humid bugo life. If you ever go, let me know, and I will direct you to some nice things. Or we could just road trip together. Dude, I'm so down. Let's do it. <laughs> January road trip. I really a lot of good food in Michigan. Yes. Yeah, I do. I have a um, a fantasy of eventually doing road trips like as the generator like field trips like art field trips yeah where we like camp and like art field trips camp and make bus. reactionary work based on where we're going Dude, to yes mm -hmm. I mean, and then we have different like people like you who like are, have a special place to their heart and they're the people that like help as the guide yeah yeah totally yeah um if anyone wants to donate a, a large van like a church van <laughs> the church make van. it happen yeah um cool well we gotta move on to all the other interviews and you gotta go set up your stuff yes you better get to work i have a lot of things to put together, so I'm gonna cool. go do that. Thank you so much. We're thank you so for much, Noah. Stuff. Thanks for taking a break to talk with us. Yeah, yeah. Thank we're all you both. looking so forward to your installation tomorrow. So am I. Awesome. Oh my goodness. All right. Yay. See ya. <laughs> so, speaking of galleries, one of the things that we did this week um, is we went to the new Reno Fine Arts Collective Gallery and uh, checked it out. It was the first day it just opened, the, the prior day to when we went there and we were there like immediately before their first event where they had wine, which they mentioned a few times. It sounds like they're gonna be pouring a lot of wine in that place. So if you are in that- Cabaret license. They're, in, they're, they're, they're ready to serve you a nice glass. While you check out the art there, they've and got Prosecco. 40, Prosecco is like a different kind Prosecco, of- Prosecco, yes. Yeah, yeah. And they have like 40 local artists from the region. So it's like the Reno Tahoe region. And they have some really big aspirations for what they're trying to do. And, um, you know, they have some experience in that area and they, they sound like, I'm really excited for what they're trying to do. I think it could be um, really helpful for a lot of the artists here who are, you know, doing really amazing work as we know, and maybe don't we don't have the market here necessarily to support the level um, of of work that people are actually created creating. They're trying to bring that in. So mm -hmm, they're gonna explain mm -hmm. it. So we'll go right to the video, but, um, it's a beautiful gallery. You should definitely check it out. They're doing events. Um, they're doing free events every Friday night, and then, and then they're going to start doing ticketing events on Saturday. So. And there are other. Did you mention that there are other East Coasters? Yeah, they are also East from Coast, the East Coast. Takeover. Although it's that um, what brought them here was not actually the art scene. You'll learn it's um, that one of the founders, her husband, is from Reno. So he's mm -hmm. a Reno guy, and their plan was just to move back here because of family reasons. And they got here and were so taken with the art community that this is the direction they decided to go so yeah they were so inspired by reno when they moved here that they were like we have to do art for reno which is so cool and that's kind of what we did mm -hmm. <laughs> you get here and then you're like oh i love this and i want to do everything i can to support it and that's kind of rad all right let's play this video hey guys we're here at the reno fine arts collective gallery with Brianna and her dad, Kevin. Yes. Nice. Did it. <laughs> cool. Um, and they just opened this gallery a day ago, right? Yep. yep. That's so exciting. There's so many amazing artists that we know yeah. on the walls and some that we don't, which is even more exciting. Um, I mean, whatever. We love everybody. <laughs> we don't want that to be taken we're gonna away. We're going to get to know you. Yeah, we're going to get to know you. Um, and we just want to stop in and see what you guys are all about and check out the gallery and talk a little bit. Can you introduce yourselves a little bit? Yes, so um, I'm Brianna Dolan. It's my dad, Kevin O'Keefe. And uh, we co-founded this concept earlier this year as an online gallery. So I guess we started in like, mid-February. And um, the, the initial idea was just to sell our own art. And because we're nice. new, new to Reno-ish, we moved here last summer. Mm -hmm. But my husband grew up here, so I always knew that I was going to come back to Reno. But cool. it just so happened that it was during the pandemic. And so uh, we all came. My parents followed shortly after me. And uh, we had some more time to spend on our art. So that's what we were doing. And, we started a website, and then we 
uh, we started to realize just how rich in art mm -hmm. Reno is. Mm -hmm. And that was not something that I was aware of until I was living here. So yeah. we scrapped the initial idea and just d decided to go big. So we created a collective that we've been adding artists onto since February. And then the vision was to start the physical gallery in downtown Reno. And then the long-term goal is to launch an international art show at the convention center next year. Ooh. So that's happening wow, next Wow, not semester. even that long-term, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a, a whirlwind for sure. This space came together in like three weeks, so. Epic. Well, it looks, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, it, it looks, looks amazing. Really We're it super excited like because it, we have 40 artists hanging now and we have at least a dozen more that are coming on. So we're gonna be kind of wow. rotating art through the next three months at least. It's a pop-up model. We're hoping that we can get people to come in and then stay, <laughs> that's the point. But uh, we're starting as a pop-up model and um, we're just gonna keep it interesting and have events every week, every Friday. Cool. Um, we're, nice. Like tonight's our first one, 4.30 to 6.30 every Friday. And so an artist or come out. someone within the community will be speaking and presenting over here. We'll have wine and Prosecco, you know, just nice. a casual hangout and be lots of art to look at. Cool. Who's speaking tonight? So Tia Flores, who has her art just hanging behind us, um, mm. she she's also representing Sierra Arts Foundation, who we're partnering with, and they're going to be sponsoring the show next nice. se September. So it's a nice kickoff with her representing that group. Cool. I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first, it's really cool that your parents followed you. That's so <laughs> nice. Like, what's up, my parents still in Jersey? Like, come on. It took uh, literally three, mo three months for them to follow us. But That's we were awesome. also living in their Where basement from? From in Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. oh, cool. Wow, okay. We're yeah. both East Coast, too. Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Oh, nice, yeah. yeah. So we were in Connecticut for six years. Um, I was in New York City for a little while, but we, the Connecticut stop for me and my husband was supposed to be like a temporary, are we going to move to Brooklyn, are we yeah. going to move to Queens, and then ended up being four years. And two minutes later, like, we're moving to Reno. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we're in Reno. So, but we love it here. Ever since we moved, we've just, I, I have not said one negative thing about Reno. I absolutely love it here, and I've been so happy with, with everything. So, and especially, we're both kind of introverts, and digging our heels into the community and meeting artists and meeting like, other business owners and, and just everyone in the community has been so great and everyone's so passionate about Reno and about the arts and just we just feel like we're honored to tap into that a little bit. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, everyone's super friendly here. Oh, yeah. It's really good and unlike, yeah, whatever. It's a different so, vibe. For yeah, sure. yeah, it's a different vibe. It's a different vibe. Um, so can you tell me about the art that both of you make? Yeah. So, go ahead. So, uh, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I started the water, watercolor on canvas and then went to oil on canvas. And uh, I, I used to run all of the large uh, design shows uh, here in the United States. Well. And so uh, the, the art that I was doing, the, the big uh, oil canvases, I was selling them in, uh, through uh, big um, uh, not for profits for, for, what, for uh, Alzheimer's. And so it was, that's how I got involved with it. We ended up doing a lot more of it. And so I really enjoyed it. I've been painting for a long time. Wow. He's nice. been painting for forever, but it's just kind of evolved and spending more time on it recently. Cool. And I do collage stuff, which I started when I was like in middle school, just loving collage my binders. And then mm -hmm. now I've just, it, and now I do it on wood. Mm -hmm. So just for fun. And it yeah, was I just saw your like piece a, over there. Yeah. So it's it's nice to have it in here too, because, you know, it yeah. feels more legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> What's awesome. the, okay, so tell me a little bit more about your watercolors and your oil. So you start with watercolor, and then you, you do oils more. And then what kind of sizing? Like big paintings, smaller paintings? Uh, well, different sizes. You know, some some like, like we have up at uh, 10 tour or 3 by 4s you know, but I've done bigger than that. So landscape, it's, I, I like to just capture those things that around me that are really beautiful and, and kind of exaggerate them a little bit so they're uh, more interesting to the to the, the viewer so cool so you have so. work at Tentor right now yeah nice. we, we have we have our work all over the uh, reno and various retailers here and in, in uh, up in tahoe wow that, that was our first effort without having a physical space we had the online gallery and then we were trying to put the art of the online gallery in other retail spaces so many places do that already we we're just trying to do it sure. on a large scale so we've got Tentor, um, Pantry <laughs> Products, uh, Bighorn Olive Oil Company, Coffee Bar. Nice. Bar. Wow, you guys have been yeah. not here for very long <laughs> and really hustling. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> we were afraid we were going to have to take all the art out of those places to fill this, but then I, I was amazed. I mean, within How a few days, all the artists came and brought their work, and then many more came on top of that. So that was really cool. <laughs> nice. Wow. So if an artist wants to get involved in the collective, how do they do that? Uh, email me. 
but be patient. <laughs> um, yeah, so get, look at our website. My email's on there, and um, you know, we first put we're putting new artists online first, and then as we rotate things through, we want to be able to hang all the members of the art collective on. And so now we're up to you know 60 or something. So we'll it will, you know it'll take the three months for sure to show everyone, but um, cool. we're just excited to get everyone's art out and and on the open. Yeah. So that's how long you're in this space is three months. Yes. So until the end of the Big success in exactly. Yes. We'd love Which to is have hopefully. a stay for, for you know for a much longer period. What we're really trying to do is, is to grow an art district downtown. There really isn't one. Yeah. And sure. so to be able to to come with a major gallery, to have 400 pieces of, of art hanging. Well, this is all the best of Reno Tahoe here. We curated it all and, and put all of the, the. You look through here. This this is the best you'll you'll find in the whole region. And then to have people come and look at it, and then if if this becomes a destination, then we'll end up with. Design showroom is coming. Other galleries will come, and then this can be, this, this can really be a downtown, vibrant downtown area, which is one of the things that the mayor would like to see happen. And the city council, they're all very excited about what we're doing. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, we we often reference like Soho in New mm -hmm. York, mm -hmm. and how that really wasn't an arts district before it became one, and then it was the arts district. Yeah. The same so thing all. happened in Miami. Same thing happened in Austin. So, it, it, we have the complete foundation set here in Reno. It's just, I think making a united push as an art community to, to, to promote ourselves in that way. Mm -hmm. That's really our main goal, is to be able to change the perspective of Reno from the outside in, looking in. Mm -hmm. So when my, my ex-colleagues from New York say, oh, you're moving to Reno, how sad for you. <laughs> and instead they'll say, wow, that's a really cool place. Yeah, Lots that's what people movies. said to us too right. when, we, when we moved here. Well, I'm yeah. sure. Yes. That's what I said to Alicia when she was like, I'm moving to Reno. I was like, I will never move there. <laughs> that place is a dump. And now I like, <laughs> I'm so invested. It's like six years, and my whole life revol revolves around Reno. Yeah, and like, we're right on the same page. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just like, I couldn't love any place more, and I've lived in so many places. So, yeah, that's well, so. It's, well, it's two, two initiatives. One is the Reno Creative Movement, which really looks outward. So it's to to try and take, uh, it change the way that, that Reno is viewed by the world as to, to, so that it's viewed as an arts and culture center. You know, so that, you know, all of the, the various places that I've been and worked in the different ex exhibitions that run around the world, uh, no one knows what we have. But geographically, it's a beautiful area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when we came and experienced the art community here, was it is as entrenched as it is in Paris or in London or in New York. And so to let the outside world know that this is here, that's the Reno Creative Movement. The Heart of Reno Movement is something we're trying to do is, is to tell all the people who are already living here that this place of ours is so rich with talent, they really should be engaged with it. They should, they should be buying, they should be collecting, they should be sharing and be proud of what this place is. Yeah. And so those two things working together is part of all of what we're doing with the online, the physical gallery, and the international art show, which will be next September. Cool. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like that's a feedback I've gotten a lot from artists who have gallery shows here and stuff. It's like, well, I want to price this how it should be priced, but the market's not here to buy it, right? So that's, yeah, that's a, a problem that needs to be solved. Well, what's interesting is that the uh, there's something happening now around the world where everyone's looking at things differently. So for, for places like New York, which had such a hot residential market and commercial market, it, everyone left New York. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the shows, the, the art shows running in New York, skip it. Uh, the art shows running in San Francisco, over. The galleries left. The artists are coming here. So we're seeing all these population movements. So I think at this time, we can go out as, as Reno and say, this is the place you need to come. This is the new art center. All of it that, that was happening in other places is now happening here. And I think people will look at us differently. It is, and it is here. Yeah. I mean, what you'll see in this gallery and, and the new things that are coming into this gallery, pieces that are selling for 500 or $1,000 in a Soho or in Miami, they'd be 10000 15, 20000 yeah. dollars You know, there's real talent is here. So I think we just have to communicate that out and we have to make sure the people who are living here understand what they have. That'd be great, because as prices rise, it'd be cool for artists to start making enough money that they can stay too, <laughs> you know, sense. that they also get to benefit <laughs> from gentrification and right. from Reno getting cooler because of the work that we do. So that's exactly. I right. love that. Yeah, definitely a culture shift, but I think we're already in it. Now it's just kind of propelling it forward a little bit. Yeah, it does seem like there's, if we're at, I mean, if I can be so bold as someone who, of course, has not lived in Reno for super long either, been here five years, um, it does seem like we're in a lot of a turning point. Mm -hmm. You know, like things are obviously changing, like for better or for worse, they're changing. So like, how can we as citizens and how can the artist community that you point out, like they've already been existing here 
how can I have some say in the direction that that moves and who it benefits, right? Rather right. than it becoming like another like tech enclave where then yeah. it becomes yeah, completely right. unaffordable. Yeah. The artists get pushed out. Yeah, right. and then all of a sudden, yeah, the artists who work so hard to make this place amazing and create this community and this movement, yeah, don't get to have any benefits from it. Yeah, and that's right. like the, the, most, the biggest bummer. Well, I think yeah. it's just a matter of, it's very apparent would, no matter who you're talking to, even if they claim that they don't understand art. You mentioned the arts community, or you, you call out a few places around town, and there's a recognition there and a passion mm -hmm. behind it, not just for the city, but for that that sense of culture and art behind it. So we just have to, you know, keep pushing that that passion forward in a way that's going to keep to focus on the arts rather than any anything else that's going to get in the way of that. So yeah, you know, just keep pushing the message. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's working. I mean, clearly this this looks yeah. amazing. Thank you. Got Apparently, a lot of artists are really interested in getting involved in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge, obviously. <laughs> well, it was the worst time to have to buy wood. That's the only thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a bad time. I heard that the I heard that it went back down a lot. Really? I, I thought there a little, was a spike a little, and it has d decreased. Yes, some. I would say we we achieved the spike when we bought all this wood. Yes. <laughs> you were like pee. Yeah. You had to buy everything. But we again. had to uh, to make this work, and we're very yeah. happy that it was all up in time to open. You know, yes. for July. That's what we're really hoping to corn spot for our town. Our time. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Our so time. all of the, what you're looking behind you, we. We so we built and finished 127 double-sided art panels well, in like four in his days. garage. Yes. You made them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <Wow>. Very skilled <laughs> in many different ways. <laughs> and uh, you know, 100 100 gallon. No, how many gallons? Well, at least 100 of gallons of white paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. well, that's how it gets done, redone, you know. Yes. <laughs> you have to do it yourself. But that's what make it fun too, because then you know, as we saw it. Bill, as we saw it come up, then it was all the more exciting to yeah know, know that we had done it. So <laughs> yeah, watching your dream come to life through your own hands is oh. a certain level of magic that you don't get other no. ways. Yeah, yeah. So when you were back in Connecticut, where you were as a, what were you doing? I was a I worked for a hospitality designer, Adam mm -hmm. Tahani. So I was actually commuting for a while into New York City. Mm -hmm. But then I sure. once my my first was born, I was able to work from home. So I was really cool. just like you know doing the COVID thing well well in mm -hmm. advance of COVID but uh, yeah so I was I was immersed in that design world but wasn't doing design work I was doing communications and marketing mostly nice. um, but our worlds okay. would kind of converge because <laughs> yeah, so, um, because he ran ICFF which is a major design trade show that everyone that I worked with went to and so it was a really interesting like arts and design you know center to be in in New York and I appreciate it for what it was definitely but um, this is way better. <laughs> we think so too. Yeah, we really think so. Let me convince us. <laughs> um, so, were you inspired to get into art through your dad's work? Not really. I think um, we were compelled to do it because of COVID. Uh, <laughs> cool. Because trade, the trade show industry and the hospitality industry completely went to zero. Um, yeah. So it allowed us to get here to Reno without obligations on the East Coast, mm -hmm. which worked out just fine because then we settled in, figured out where, where we were and how great it was, and then we started dabbling more in our own art. And that's when the idea came. I was like, well, we should try to sell some of this stuff to get it out of the house, you know? So, and then that, you know, that pushed the whole thing forward. So that's one of the best things about COVID. It just made everyone have more space in their life to figure out what the heck they really want to do. Right. Yeah, Anything. it's across the board. I feel like that's what I keep hearing. I mean, there definitely there was an enormous amount of challenge yeah. involved for most people, but uh, there is an, a light for sure. Yeah. There's definitely some invention coming from necessity mm -hmm. out of it. Um, well, that's super interesting because I, when I saw that you guys were getting started with this, I just saw some stuff, I think, on, like, Instagram, and I it didn't, I, I guess it, like, seemed more like, oh, these people came here to do this. Mm -hmm. But it was really that you guys came here, started to kind of get in, integrated with the arts community, and went, whoa, it they was, could it really was use, it, it was, was like. shock to me, I mean. I, I've, I've been involved with the, with the design and arts business for a long time. I, I ran, uh, I developed ICFF, which is the top design event in, in North America, and then I did New York City around it, New York City by design around it, which is the whole citywide, which is what we'll, we plan to do here with the, with the event as well. Uh, and that citywide involved 400,000 people. Wow. They, 200,000 came from someplace else, and it was just this huge thing. Anyway, that got me out to all of the, the art shows all over the world, all the design shows all over the world, which I would go out and, and and meet the, the designers and bring that stuff into my shows. Like these, some of the pieces here. This is a classic. This is just. This is an individual that has truly inspired sense of design. These three. These three uh, tables. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that kind of thing. 
go out That's to That's Vanilla's all. work, by the way. Shout out Some of our viewers hey. know. She's a friend of ours. Yeah, oh, yeah, she works she, at the generator. Yeah, she's referring to Vanilla's gorgeous tables. Yeah, yeah, she's amazing. Some um, work with Dawn, too. <laughs> so yeah, I did up, the metal work. What's up, guys? Is your new baby here yet? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a real star. But anyway, the, these are the kinds of, of things that I would look for and bring back to, to New York. But anyway, it, it was very interesting to me to come here. And I, and, and I took, uh, sitting down talking to Brian, I said, why are all these artists in Reno? Because it's true, because any place else, you do, and I talked to people, I just did a couple of weeks ago, somebody in Paris, and I said, well, what we're going to do is this international art show in, in Reno. But Reno was next to Las Vegas. I said, it's not next to Las Vegas. <laughs> Every it's time. Everybody I'm very far away from it. It's right next to Tahoe. They all know Tahoe. Yeah. Oh, right. Tahoe, that's a very nice place. It's, well, it's right next to I could be there in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember where I live. I could be there in 20 minutes. Oh, you got to be Yeah, so I'm down at, at Curdy Ranch. And so uh, they're like, it, it is. And I said, yes, and there's this huge concentration of art and culture here. Mm -hmm. There is. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, so You've anyway, had this it was a big many times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, anyway, it was a big shock, and so anyway, but but because of my experience in the exhibition business, I'm running shows all over the world, you know, that where 100,000 people come, you know, and so uh, be, to be able to take the, that experience and to apply it here in creating a new event that we could ground next September, if that works well, then I will bring other art fairs from around the world together. We'd be the whole convention, so we have a thousand exhibitors down there. Well, then we'd have we'd have art art collectors and interior designers and. and Everybody in the art world would come here rather than to Miami Beach. Sounds good to me. And so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're trying to do. That sounds amazing. It's so much less humid here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. yes, I know. Tahoe is <laughs> gorgeous. There, and there's many mountain lakes that you can <laughs> come very to see. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because my, yeah, well, you know, my East Coast family comes here all the time and visits, and they're like, it's so brown here. And like, you know, they can't. <laughs> and then, of course, when we go into the mountains, they're like, oh, my God. You know? Green, blue. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, they don't stunning. talk about, you know, well, you know, where we come from in Connecticut, they don't talk about being covered with mosquitoes and yes. dripping humidity and yep. you can't go outside. Yeah, you can't go outside at all. I know we were, we were talking about that. I mean, it's, it's 100 degrees here, but... If it was 100 degrees there, you would die. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a much, it's a much more tolerable. Whatever the number is, if it's the same on the East Coast, you know it's much more comfortable here. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go back for two weeks in July to Jersey, and I'm like, it's going to be so humid. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, you yeah. go to sleep, and it's like, 95 degrees and yeah. just like you're just sweating it never yeah. goes down yeah, yeah it never stops that's the i love down. like sitting out on my deck like at night here you mm -hmm. know and it just cools off and it's the perfect temperature and it's all quiet oh my god it's the best yeah. did we eat dinner in the garden last night and watch the sunset yes it's the it's best awesome. yeah the Very reno nice. sunsets cannot yeah. be beat that's you can't sure. beat them yeah you yeah. can't beat it <laughs> high desert yeah it's cool i love the the uh finding something you didn't know you loved you know like showing up to your place having like different expectations and it just far exceeds. That's really rad. I'm so glad it inspired both of you because it's clear that this was something that's really needed. Yeah, it's clear that this is something that a lot of folks want because they are yeah. coming out to do I'm it. Like people are already here looking There's at stuff. There's a lot of people looking around the gallery, yeah. Is there, <laughs> yeah, is there anything else you want to tell the viewers and tell Reno? Um, I think I would just encourage everyone to come and check it out, of course, and hang out because our our we really love the space to just be a play, a destination spot to hang out. We're going to be pouring. Uh, we have actually have our cabaret license, so we're going to be pouring wine constantly, and nice. <laughs> like tonight, and we're just going to have people, you know, sharing their experience with within the art community, and uh, we're going to try out some ticketed events on Saturdays, maybe like once or twice a month. So, cool, cool. And come check it out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. Yeah, awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, this yeah. is a beautiful collection of all different Reno artists and yeah, Tahoe take, artists, right? We'll walk so, you around. yeah, we'll walk you around and make sure you come down and check it out over the next three months. <laughs> Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you.
Hey. Hi. So that was really cool. Um, yeah. It's always fun when we interview people we don't know, you know, because then we don't have, like, any expectations, and then it just happens, and we get to learn about them as you guys learn about them. So mm-hmm. that's fun. Yeah, and we learned a lot about those folks and what they were doing. And it ended up being a long interview, as you saw, but we thought it was pretty interesting, and so we kept the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, and um, you should go and see. Yeah, definitely. Go check them out. You could go there on Friday. Come here tomorrow. Then Friday night, you can go to Reno Fun Arts yes. and uh, Collective and check their stuff out. So, Sorry, I'm just queuing up Andy. So we have another interview, and uh, the other... It's a little bit shorter one, and it is with Andy Tibbetts, who's a local artist. He's also my husband. <laughs> so um, if you're watching this, you might be familiar with him. Uh, he is a large-scale metal fabricator and artist, and he's been doing a, a, a lot of commission work the past few years. And the he did a project for Burning Man 2019 called Bee Dance for Andrea Greenless, who is a london-based artist and she basically she does all the design and then he does the fabrication so it's all her design but he built it and then they took it out to burning man in 2019 and then recently they um got it leased but they're allegedly it's just going to be permanent like it's it's how a lot of times these things are where it's a five-year lease with the option to keep it permanently which they say they're going to do see but happened. we'll see so, so hopefully neon. it's permanently now in the neon line in, in reno <laughs> yeah and it's right by the little wedding chapel yeah it's right by there. the chapel of the bells and um it's on fourth street so it's actually coming away from the uh, casinos like it's after the polar bear because <laughs> i know someone was looking for it and they were like i got to the polar bear and i hadn't seen it it's past the polar bear past the, past the neon the bear. line is really extending it's going 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 it's so like gold west diner mm-hmm. yeah. yep it's over it's there it's almost to keystone yep it's really close to the generator so you can drive by the neon line on your way here tomorrow when you're coming for all of our wonderful events mm-hmm. but or if you're doing that radical riders bike ride yep. bike ride mm-hmm, mm-hmm. see all the things and then you go down the neon line and yeah. see all the art there so yeah so now the bees are here in reno which is awesome it's a beautiful piece it's really cool so we did a little not, interview with andy not just in alicia's yard anymore it's not yeah it was in my yard for a while Life. okay let's roll into this guys on the neon line with the fabricator, Andy Tibbetts. Hello. <laughs> so tell us about this sculpture. So these are uh, two honeybees that are dancing with each other. Uh, they were commissioned by an artist out of London. Um, she wanted to uh, uh, she wanted to have a, a pair of uh, bees and dance. Why? Why dancing bees? Why bees? Uh, bees have been pretty important to her, and the die out of bees was important to her. And uh, she wanted something to grab some attention and uh, uh, make people think about bees. <laughs> nice. And also, like, there's a whole thing where bees do a dance, right? Yeah, bees communicate by dancing with each other. They do a little butt shake and tell the other bees where where the flowers are at. And the waggle uh, dance. Little, the waggle the dance. dance. And, uh, I've actually seen them do it. Maybe I'll splice in a, a waggle. I don't want to make any promises. But... <laughs> yeah. So these particular bees have uh, ballerina slippers on. Um, so they're a little bit more formal in their dancing. But What are these slippers made of? The slippers are um, copper with uh, a solid grout um, under, under the, underneath the copper. Like you cast the the slippers the form and then you covered it in copper yes, yes exactly yeah and the, and this sculpture was originally built for burning man correct at burning man 2019 um and it had a lot of people climbing on it um at one point you could barely see any of the sculpture it was just a mass of b-shaped people it's kind of amazing yeah so you've done a couple other projects with andrea right yes um, can you talk a little bit about this? Um, the project before the bees was Beebot. It was a, uh, a three-story tall robot um, waving high. Um, it also had uh, some copper elements in it. And uh, it's currently installed uh, in Philadelphia. Cool. And where's the chicken that you did for Andrea? The chicken 
Um, I actually haven't been to the new location of the chicken. Um, so the Estrian? Yeah, the the horse park. Yeah. Yeah, I have equestrian. equestrian park. Yeah, I haven't. I actually haven't been out there yet. Um, but uh, they have the chicken, uh, which is designed to look like a, a chicken basket that you would put eggs in in your in your country kitchen. We actually have a few of the eggs at the generator right now. So if you've been to the generator recently and sat on a beautiful leather bean bag, you might have noticed it was egg shaped. It was from the egg that was built by Andy for the same artist. Yep. And if you come to our town on tap uh, next Thursday, you can come and sit on a beautiful, yeah, you can enjoy it. <laughs> leather egg. And you can drive by this because it's very close to the current generator location. We are on 4th Street. Um, we're at 4th and uh, Washington. Uh, Washington. So, you know, right here by the Chapel of the Bells and by you could come see silver. it. And there's also, as we look down the neon line, you can see lots of other sculptures here. Um, there's the polar bear, and then there's that one. Charlie Gackin's piece, wherever. the cube. You, what, in every lifetime I will find you, or something yeah. I think it's called. And um, yeah, Charlie Gackin's cube, Cubitron, is that what it's called? It's or not cube, something else? Cubitron's something else. Um, and there's also the, um, the warrior. Yeah, the warrior from China, the, Ch yeah. uh, the Chinese. Yeah. I don't know what it's actually called, but I know that they brought it here from China. Yeah. yeah. So, where did you make the bees and all these other projects? So, all these projects yeah, <laughs> uh, were made uh, at the generator um, back when we were on Ice House. Um, and I'm actually really looking forward to uh, building more projects at the new Audi location when that's open up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice to be able to build uh, projects like this with uh, with your friends and community. Yeah. What was the uh, first project you ever made? Oh gosh. Like first project for Burning Man was a non-traditional geodesic dome in 2004. Um, I guess the first real big art project I did was the pirate ship, uh, my art car, that has a 10-foot diameter front wheel and uh, sails of fire. The clock ship Terry. The clock ship Terry. I th think that would qualify as the first big piece of Burning Man art that I did. Um, a lot of smaller sculptures for years before then, but uh, that was the first big Burning Man piece. How did you get into sculpture and making things like this? My dad's a woodworker, and I wanted to be different. <laughs> You're like, oh, wood, I'm going to do metal. And I'm not going to be anything like my dad. He's an artist who makes things out of wood. I'm going to be an artist who makes things out of metal. It was hilarious. I was talking with him uh, years ago, and I was cutting pieces of metal, almost the exact same shape as the pieces of wood he was cutting on, on a totally different project. And it was like, yeah, you can't escape that. No, no. <laughs> well, um, um, who's your dad? Uh, my dad's Malcolm Tibbetts. Um, he lives up in South Lake Tahoe. Um, he's a segmented wood turner. You just Google that, folks. <laughs> we'll have Malcolm on at some point. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so this is the one question we always ask everybody. If you were going to give advice to an emerging artist, what would you say? I mean, when you get into a thing, an element, whatever it is, like ride that wave as long and, and as hard as you can. Like if, if all of a sudden you're like into working with charcoals, like do not stop as long as you have the passion to do it because eventually that, that wave will die out. And if you don't surf it for as long as you can, um, you're gonna miss out. You'll remember, you'll learn, uh, you'll accomplish five times, 10 times as much when you're when you hit that little passion peak um and stay up for 24 hours just keep keep doing it um now we're getting into adhd stuff <laughs> like, i don't know that it necessarily works for everyone quite this way that they're like oh i'm into this thing i've got to stay up for two days i mean if, if you can if you well, got the passion for it just just do it yeah yeah follow your passion and yes. and don't give up even though you might really want to I, to follow your passion it feels like a more of a like a long-term plan mm -hmm. i mean I'm, I'm thinking you follow know follow the wonder <laughs> follow the wonder maybe but 
you know, there's going to strike while the iron is hot. Strike where the iron so hot is exactly. Things we're coming up with here. Just yeah. the original things. <laughs> these are all original since Yeah, like I know what you mean. Like when you're feeling really excited about something, just allow yourself to 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 really fully get into it. Like follow that. Yeah. That excitement because sometimes it's fleeting and you don't know when it'll come back. It's true. Exactly. Yeah. Well, look, the lights came on while we were standing here. Yeah, yeah. there's some nice blue lights now. And red lights. Red lights. Yeah. I'm actually really curious to see what it looks like when it's dark. Yeah. Nice. Well, looks we like stand the here long in. enough. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to say to the good people of Signal Boost and Reno? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I love what you guys are doing. I, I think it's such a neat thing. Um, and uh, I appreciate you guys bringing awareness to different artists and, and different artworks. So thanks. You know, thank you guys. Yeah, to say that. <laughs> Contra contractually required. Um, cool. Thank well, you. thanks for setting this up, adding another little bit of yeah. a little flavor to Reno. There, More there's. Reno made art in Reno. I, I'm not sure what the whole event is, but I guess they have something planned um, for the whole neon line for the 4th of July. Um, it might be ridiculously crowded down here, but okay. yeah. but this is just something you can see on the sidewalk and, you know, come in and circle around. So it may not be that, that crazy. Cool. Yeah, we should, um, maybe we should talk to Pineapple Pedicabs about doing a little neon line tour with them. That'd, That'd be, be cool. fun. Yeah. What is that? I'll hit you up. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, thank Thanks. you. Hi. <laughs> We're going long, but we still have um, Instagram Roundup. So it's time. It's time. Let's just do it. I know. We love the art, Reno. It's our favorite. Thanks, Mainlink Art. You're always around. Are you going to come to Art on Tap tomorrow? I bet you are. No pressure, though. See you there. All right. Instagram Roundup. Let me escape. Escape. Woo! Thank you. Yeehaw. Here we are. Yeehaw. We got a lot of stuff, but um, one thing that's not on here that I don't want to forget about. Um, first of oh. all, really fast, we'll just do this one. Pren Bakery is oh, so man. delicious. Oh my god! I really wanted to go there yesterday because they had this special that sounded amazing with figs and yeah, burrata and stuff. And I, but I, you know I'm too many, busy of a day. You but. know how many batons are in their croissants? Eight. I think six. Six. Now you I knew it, it was a lot. Good enough. <laughs> six batons, I believe. So many batons. Chocolate. You'll be satisfied. Um, they just opened up a new spot at um, Village at Ranchera. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. They're killing it. Yeah, it's like it a little now. restaurant. They're killing it. They've been it's like, like a breakfast and lunch restaurant. They put a spot in Truckee, I believe. Mm -hmm. They're they have like a spot in Truckee. Blowing up, man. It's mm -hmm. so cool to watch. They have a spot that. in South Lake that's in the like one of the this like bougie hotel. Nice. Hello. Delicious. Yeah, they're killing it. Delicioso. Um, I wanted to do the Sierra Arts thing before I forget. Oh, right. Caitlin Sierra Arts. specifically asked. Yes. They're doing a Sierra Arts open house at Art Tech this weekend. Look at this. They're actually looking for artists, I think, still, which is inter It's just this weekend. Isn't that what Caitlin said, that they're still they looking are, for? Okay. So they have funding to pay artists to start doing classes, I believe. Mm. So that's what they're doing is it's like, I mean, it's an open... Um, yeah, Sierra Arts Academy art classes at Art Tech. So it's open for everybody to go to this open house, but also they're specifically looking for new, any artists really, who also want to teach mm -hmm. about their craft. So if you've ever thought about making some loot, teaching things, um, you should go over there and talk to them about it. And, you know, maybe eventually you can teach at the Jenny too. <laughs> yeah, and you could do those too. <laughs> poaching, poaching. No, you teach well, no, everywhere. There's teach not, there's... Yeah, yeah, you can teach both places. There's nothing stopping you. Yeah. Might be different audiences. It's true. So we just want to shout that out. That's Saturday, July 10th 
uh, 10 to 3. Yeah, go check it out. I'm just reading you what you can see with your eyes. It's a cool place. You should, yeah, our tech is cool. Uh, all right, so what else we got? Oh, laundry to the people. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys are aware of them. They're really cool. They just help you do your laundry. Maybe Yeah, you they help ha unhoused folks do their laundry. Yes, yes. If you are, and just like low-income folks too, like you can come by on Fridays and they, at Mr. Bubbles, and they will um, do, they have laundry services. Mm -hmm. So if you need laundry or, or you, you know, know someone, someone yeah. yes, clue them into this because it's a really cool program and we yep. love what these folks are doing. So thank yes. you, laundry to the people. Yeah, definitely. And they just got a van. Someone donated them a van so they can be taking the laundry. It's really great. Yeah. It's awesome. So if you know anyone who can benefit from that, spread the word. Um, or if you can. This is actually not a Reno thing, but it's cool because it's Zach's cousin, Gabe. My, Zach is my husband, and he's a comic book artist, and he's doing the second edition of his comic book. He crowdfunded the first one and got, like, a ton of money to do this um, Digital Lizards of Doom, which is also the name of his band, and they dress up like giant lizards. It sounds amazing. They're really cool. So you should check them out, and it's just rad to see people. Yeah, thank you crowdfunding um their art and being successful and yes you should yeah Dizzy if Doom this Mania. appeals to you get on it yeah just like <laughs> just nerd shit man nerd shit Ooh. nathaniel benjamin he actually so many beautiful new signal boxes yes. in reno right now yes wow so gorgeous love this one love it um he also just did Green tigers this um space on the side of corrigan's you beautiful. know on wells it's cool. huge. It's really beautiful. It's so Whoa, cool. Oh, love that. Yeah. I, it's really, I love That's these dope. color palette. Oh my God. It's very so cool. nice. Yeah. Nathaniel Benjamin. Killing it. Yeah. Like a press. What's up? What's up? Uh, Kid Rocker, you know, yes. we've talked about them before. Yes. So now they're doing uh, concerts every Saturday in July at Peavine Tap House. Um, yeah. Concerts for their students. So you should go. Get a beer and like listen to some kids playing music. Yeah, it's so cute and awesome. Yeah, they're great. They're awesome. Support we love them. Because one day they'll be the new thing in town. They'll be rocking it. He'll be like, I saw that kid when he was eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. And he killed it. He was awesome. Slade. Um, Holland Project is bringing back their dark room. Nice. Super exciting. Um, that will be in September. But for now, they're doing a DIY black and white film developing workshop um, next Thursday. So, so yeah, you should go and go take get that. old school with it. Yes, I'm super jelly. I want to take that. Mm. That's a medium I've wanted to learn. But you will be gone. Be gone. It's what you get for leaving. Oh my god, I gotta go to my homeland. True, true, fair. It's been like two years. My mm -hmm. son has never even been to the land to the of the to the dirty state. jurors. What's up? Uh, uh, Josie Rock, you know. Chopped and screwed, him. you know, we love Josie. Yeah, Rock. yeah. So he's doing a show right now um, with The Potentialist and at The Potentialist, and you should go from July 1st to the 31st. You got all month. Don't miss it. Yeah, you might remember him from many Argon. things. Yeah, so many things. But Argon, he was here for Argon Tap last week. Yes. Or last month. Last month. So go get some. He's got so much art that's like for sale right now. We're going to have to go to the Look show. Look at it. So much art. You want it. He is prolific. Yes. Uh, Tahoe City. Skate the lake, baby. Yeah. It's like a thing. Tahoe longboards. Get your longboard. Yeah. Shortboards, How? bicycle, e-bikes, blades, rollerblades, whatever mm. you have. Um, it's all to help save lives for breast cancer awareness. Okay. Yeah, so go skate the lake. Sounds lovely. Sounds really nice. Balloon, Reno balloon races. Oh my gosh, yeah, they're balloon coming festival. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was 70 days when this was posted five days ago. So, so 65, 65 days. days. We gotta go. I've actually never gone because oh, yeah. I'm a mom. We gotta and go. What am I gonna do? Get up at 4 a.m. Yeah, you get children? up at 4 and you schlep them in there. What? And it's freezing cold, but then it's awesome. Because they need to go up when it's still awesome. chilly out. Isn't yeah, it awesome, is. Guys. It is awesome. It is. Otherwise, they you explode? Know it is. No, they don't explode. You need to go up before it's hot because it's like has to do with physics and thermodynamics. Once it gets hot, they but will they down. explode ever? I mean, maybe. I don't want to explode. Depends. I'm just like curious how that science works. I don't works. think they explode. Science. 
uh, Wild Market is this new, Ooh. it's a new market that's going to be on Wells Avenue, which is super cool. Yeah, um, Wells. Know, it's put on by the Wandering Wild folks who now have the Virgil over there. And that'll be cool. Wells is, you know, Wells is blown South up. Wells, man. A lot of cool stuff yeah, happening down yeah. there. I kind of wish that we uh, had bought a house. We used to, when I first moved here, we lived on Cheney Street and then we lived on Arroyo. So we like lived kind of near that neighborhood for a while. Yeah, you know, it's cool. I have friends that live over there. What's up, Annie? What's up? And Don and Jennifer. There's so many. Nicolette. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot. The, list, a, goes, the a, list goes on. It's a dope spot. Sure um, is. But check you should go check out this new a little street market that's going to go on on Wells. Yeah, also, absolutely. Also, like, Marketone is dope. Like, you get so many good things in this, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Speedy Burrito. There's a lot of good things good happening. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, it's time for the whisper. second. Whisper. 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 Sorry, you're not supposed to yell the word whisper, especially when it's spelled that way. It's very sneaky. With the Reverend Jacob Ernest. The Reverend himself. So it'll be the next, uh, you know, what do I say about this? A spiritual art experience at the Virgil that we were just talking about. Yep. Um, You should go. Doors at 10. And it's featuring a bunch of really cool people. Yep. World release of Lamb's Blood Mead from Black Rabbit Mead. Ooh. Snap. And this will get you. The Blood of the Lamb. This will get you prepped for when you're going to go marry the river on yes. um, the morning of Pride. Yep. Don't forget you need to go marry the river, okay? It's important. Yeah, don't forget. She's waiting for you. They waiting for you? That's true. Well, no. I think it's she. Truckee Meadow? Okay. The All Truckee right. Meadow? All right, sure. The river? The Truckee River? Right. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What do you All guys right. think? No one, no one cares about the gender of the river. It is genderless. Know. Um, last thing that I thought was really rad is this artist residency at Death Valley National Park Mm. in January. Wow. And you get a three, you get, um, housing and a $3,000 stipend and you just hang out in Death Valley. Hold the phone. Yeah. Someone do this, please. I really want to do it. That is a cool. Someone watch my children so I can go do this for a month. So cool. Watch our children. We're going. Apply by July 30th. Okay. You don't have a lot of time. But you no, have you time. don't. You have but you have time. enough time. Please Don't apply. wait till you're ready. Just do it. Just do it. You'll never Just be apply. Just apply. You know. We always... What's the worst that could happen? You should apply. It'll, it'll be Death so Valley cool. Death Valley in January. Temperatures Let are amazing. Let us know. Stars are stunning. We'll come out. We'll interview you. Opportunities I just got a new roof tent, so I'm ready to party it's true. in the I middle of nowhere. Housing. Well, we, yeah, we'll go. No, we'll I mean to visit. visit. When we go visit the person who applies and gets this stipend because they saw this on signal boost fuck yes do it we believe in you um oh my god like really that sounds like a dream so that's all we got we're sounds 14 wonderful. minutes Death valley over. is unreal it's so beautiful yeah it's funny when we started this episode the, the space was full and bustling and, and now it's quiet. chilled out because everybody's going home yeah so we'll see you tomorrow um, yeah see you tomorrow it's gonna be popping off tomorrow at 8 p.m popping yeah at 8 p.m tomorrow it's gonna be nuts yeah, but because um, be really revolutionary rockin'. sounds, mm-hmm. they, 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 they come. To We've slay. got Grace Hayes playing, mm-hmm. and then revolutionary sounds. Like, are you kidding me? You can come see all these amazing artists, and it's free, and we'll give you drinks. And we like, have free. It's a no booze or non booze, whatever you want. Yeah, we have Beverages. so much kombucha pop. Please, it's really good, and it's people really don't good. people don't get it. Come drink it because sometimes I drink too many, and then I get sick. You've heard this before. It's she, bad. She don't drink can't. too many kombuchas. She can't. All right. Um, Mess you up. Have a lovely night. We appreciate you. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. And um, I won't be here because I'm going to Jersey, as you know. It's Mm -hmm. time for me to go eat my um, pasta. It's time for the pilgrimage for cannoli. (laughs) It's time for the cannoli. Um, But Alicia will be here with probably Lina, and she'll be holding it down. Yeah, we'll talk about it. So I'll see you when I get back. Yeah, we're going to do it. Bye. And we won't be here this week because we'll be. Yeah, we're going. We're going out. We're going to pray for us. It's going to be so hot, but we're going to be out in the desert this weekend. I'll show you really fast what it looks like. Is it just a? Is it just a a blaze of flame? Is that what it looks like? Because it's going to be 107, folks. 107. 107 in Gerlach this weekend. We're going to. We might die. Witch house. Okay, that's all. Bye. Mm